East Hampton is known as Belltown, USA. Because through the years, there have been more than 30 manufacturers of Bell, different companies who've set up their base here in East Hampton. Bevan Brothers is the last company in the United States, in North America, for that matter, that makes just bells. That's all we do. It's all we've ever done. We have been here since 1832. Uh, this company was founded in 1832 by my great, great, great grandfather and three of his four brothers. We make all kinds of bells. We make it, it, small bells, the type you go into a hotel and, you know, ding the, you know, at the post office. We make small little tea bells. We make uh, sleigh bells. Uh, all the bells this time of year that you see the Salvation Army kettle ringers using. Trip gongs that are used in mines. We make bells that are used for a variety of different things. I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Uh, we made the bell that was used on the New York Stock Exchange. Between shapes, sizes, and types, probably 200 different varieties of bells that we still make. We have made bells for a variety of political campaigns. Calvin Coolidge, we made bells for him. Apparently they rung him all the way to the White House. We've made them for Bill Clinton. These particular bells were made for the G Jimmy Stewart Museum. And it says on the back, every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. It's a bell we made, actually. We didn't know they were going to use it in that movie. Uh, but the movie that, uh, the bell that is rung when Clarence gets his wings in It's a Wonderful Life was made right here in Belltown, USA. It's amazing what comes out of this little shop hidden here in East Hampton, Connecticut, in Belltown.